Hello everyone, my name is Seth. Welcome to day six of the Test Run project. Um, I have been working on the project a lot, but I haven't been uploading any of the footage that I have because if you remember in the last episode, I was trying to figure out a solution to uh, 360 degree turning in VR. It could be rather, if you've tried tried it before, turning around your head a lot is, it's just gets heavy after a while and it starts hurting your neck. And the sometimes when you turn, say completely 360 degrees, you go out of the sensor range, and all that stuff. So I was tr working on that, but I didn't, I didn't end up going too far. I figured out a lot about VR, more about it, but I'm still fairly new to it. Um, I decided since I was already stuck on it for around two weeks now, I believe, I would just you know stop doing that, move on to something else, make more progress in the game. Because uh, considering that you know we've been working on this for a while now, I haven't made too much progress. I've been doing movement, and that's about it. So I want to spice it up, try to add levels, characters, and all that stuff uh, to interact with, picking up objects and whatnot. So today I'll be working on the creating a enemy. I already did start a little bit. <laughs> I was recording. But I didn't realize I didn't have my microphone on, you know. So I do, as you can see, I did end up changing the level a little bit. Uh, took off all the tables and all that stuff, added a platform, and I did create a bush enemy class. All I did was create a new enemy, it's blank. All I did was make a character and gave it a bush as a character, and I linked it to my... AI controller class, AI bush controller is what I called it, and I just started a little bit. I, in fact, we can just delete that now since it wasn't too much, uh, and then I'll go over it. So, basically, if you are fairly new to AI, I'll just explain it very quickly. Uh, you have a controller, and either a controller can be used as a player. Uh, something that you can play as and if you press a button do this that simple or you can create a character assign it a controller somewhat as uh, acts as a AI oops hit my mic there acts as AI so it would do it does stuff in certain scenarios depending on what you tell it to do so this AI controller we're going to give it a scenario and tell it to start attacking the player or walking up to the player or doing say if it walks it sees a door walk up to the door open the door stuff like that and everything in this character class all we'll keep track of is stuff like oh what happened what, what should i do if i get hit should i um be dying stuff like that so as i go over it we'll we'll see more about it later but for now what we're going to be working on is we're going to start very simple. We're going to take the bush, and if it sees a player, then walk up to the player. That's it. Uh, the next step is to, if it sees the player, walk up to a certain distance to the player and stop. Uh, and the last phase that we'll be working on in this video is, if it sees the player, walk to that certain distance, but at the whole, the whole time, shoot. Oh, that wasn't the last phase, actually. Shoot at the player. But um, last thing that we want to work on, well, character-wise that is, but the last thing that we want to work on is making the bullets uh, quite slow, as it could be very trippy if you have balls uh, being shot at your face, which is what we're going to use as the gun. Uh, not shoot real bullets, because I don't have bullet models ready. I just have circle, sphere-looking things. Yeah, like, sphere like that. Or cubes, I could do cubes too. Or a cone, similar. Yeah, we'll we'll see what we end up do, doing. But let's get started. So we're gonna go in this AI bush class, and we're gonna say, if it sees the player, uh, walk up to it. That simple. So I did actually end up adding a component here called AI perception, and this will control. Um, it comes with pre-built events, so. Well, what if it sees, and one thing that we actually need in here is, well, what if it sees something, do what? So we're going to be using this, adding this into the class, and we're going to say uh, it has a stimulus and it has an actor. This actor, I'm pretty sure, 
I've been, I'm really rusty with um, programming enemies, but I'm pretty sure what this actor represents is what what is it seeing, and that's the actor that this this node will take over. So in this case, if it's looking at our player, the player will be this actor here. The stimulus means, well, what's stimulating this node? What is it seeing? So we're actually going to want to see, break the AI stimulus. If we open this, it gives us a bunch of stuff like age, expiration age, strength, all that stuff, stimulus location. But all we want to see is, did it actually see something? This is going to be running constantly. As you can see, it's called updated. So I believe that means it runs constantly. Uh, we want it to say, well, if it actually sees something, then do something. If it's not doing anything, then don't bother. So uh, we're actually going to run this through a branch, and we're going to use this as a condition. And we're going to run off true. So if it does see something, if, this, uh, if the node is true, the branch is true, we're going to want to uh, cast to Myra. Uh, that was my old game. I keep confusing it. It's been a while. Uh, cast to the test run character. I don't know why I'm scrolling when I can just type it. There we go. Test run character. And this is where this part comes in handy. What's going to play as the test run character? What is this test run character? Well, itself, because that's what it's sensing. Uh, I believe from my understanding, that's what casting means. Uh, I may not, I may be wrong here, but uh, I'm not too experienced myself, but I believe that's what it means. The this actor is going to be the test run. When it's casting or when it's talking to the test run ca character, it needs to have an object reference, as you can see there. So the test run character will play as itself. Uh, so next, we're going to want to get its location, get actor location. That's not what we want. Okay, so it's down here instead. So we want to get that location, and we're going to want to move to that location ourselves. So, okay, now I'm trying to think. We want this enemy to walk around randomly, but how do we get it to walk to the player? So we're going to want to, I'm trying to think of the node that it's called to walk towards the player. Follow, get actor location. Oh, we're going to want to set our location, set our enemies or the bushes location. So we're going to want set actor location. And we're just going to get the tell it to go to the player's location. So it does say teleport here. So I wonder if that means that it will instantly set it. And I do believe that it's, that's what it means. We don't want it to instantly set to the um essentially teleport to our character that's not what we want i think it's get point in navigable radius i'm not sure but i did have my old uh project as a reference to use so if i ever got stuck because i knew i was going to get stuck eventually uh what, what i want it to do so let's see i don't think it's in here i believe it's tasks move near player yeah that's it so it is get point and navigable radius but what does it plug into oh okay okay i see now i see so here we go we're going to still want to get that actor's location we're going to want to Oh, hold up, I'm starting it. Sorry, I'm just blanking out. I'm trying to think. So we want to get that actor's location. We're going to get a point, random point in navigable radius. And we're going to keep that number relatively small. And 300, as you saw in my last game, is fairly close. I'm not sure what units it measures in, but after experimenting with a while, I, I kind of can guesstimate how big this radius is. 300 is not very large. It's like right next to the player. And here we're going to want to get navigable paint and radius. But then, how do you walk to it? 
I, I'm pretty sure it's that actor location to walk to that point. I'm just going to take a quick look through everything to see, make sure I'm using the right one. These are pretty much useless, so let's go with it. And the target is self. So let's run this. I wonder if we can just run it normally without having to put on the headset. Ooh, that froze. We'll see how that runs. The clock is still moving on my recording, so it is. it didn't freeze. I still have that open. Oh, it's turning on the Oculus and everything. Oh. Derp. So we're going to need to do a couple things here. Uh, let's see. Build. We're going to rebuild all this stuff. It's giving us that. Yes. Compiling all the shadows and all that stuff. Let it fix that. Well, to map needs let. And there we go. Letting build complete. OK, let's see here. And now if we go to the bush should just be able to add this in I'm just gonna change the name here BP bush BP stands for blueprint and I'll just call it bush to stay consistent with the AI bush so let's put this person this bush quite a distance away and since I haven't added anything to whatchamacallit for it to be walking around and looking yet We'll just face it towards the player and let's see what it does. So that should be good. Okay, I guess not. I guess it's not good. So let's see. Something is up. But first I want to do run an event tick and see if this is actually running, just in case. So I'm just telling it to print hello if it is working. So it is working. That means there's something wrong with my code. So Okay, let's do this. So obviously the bush isn't going to move unless I tell it to move. That's what's wrong. Oh my god, I'm like all over the place just thinking right now. So when I tell it to use get a point in a navable radius, I actually need to create something called a nav mesh bounds volume. And what this what this determines is where where are things allowed to move? Because obviously um, you don't want the player slash enemy to move anywhere that it pleases. You want it to stay within certain boundaries, and that's what the nav mesh allows it to do. And before uh, the AI can move, I need to define that boundary. So that's what we're doing right now. And I'll just make it this whole entire field. Uh, if it goes off, if it's a little bit over, it won't walk over, which is good. But let's see, I think that's it. I think that's all I should have to do here. Now let me think. I want to know if it should be in here or if it's in the normal class. And I do believe it should be in the normal class. To find a random point. Um, let's do this. Event begin play. And we're going to create a custom event called um, walk. Random walk maybe? We'll switch the name if we need to. Event begin play. We're just going to call random walk once. That's it. So I'll talk to this, play it once. And by the end of this, I want it to call random walk and keep doing it on itself. But we're just going to do find point in navable radius. Um.
kit point and navigable radius. The radius will be 600. The origin will be get actor location. Oh my god, I haven't done this in so long. This is terrible. Location. And we're just going to plug that as the origin. So we're going to say... I don't know why it does that. I typed exactly what it needs to be. Okay, maybe not. Set actor location. Wow. That should work, right? It calls random walk. It's gonna tell it to get its current location. It's gonna get a random point around it, and it's gonna go to it. And then it should call itself again, right? Going crazy? This should work. <sighs> Infinite loop detected. That's what I wanted it to do. Okay, yeah. I didn't want to have to use this as reference too much, but apparently I'm just that rusty. We're doing that. What? I'm so confused. <sighs> okay. Let's see. I'm trying to find something that will to see what I use to walk around I'm not seeing anything it's just this set black backboard value as a vector move to move location Wow, this is terrible. <sighs> okay. Give me one second. I'm going to research this really fast and figure out what I was doing wrong because I'm honestly not sure why this isn't working. Are you actually serious right now? this works, I'm actually gonna... I'll be happy, alright? But, wow. I can't believe, I'm just amazed how long it's been. Because I used... This is the first thing that I used to program for all my, um... AI. This is always the first thing that you... Oh, well, that I did, anyway. Walking around. On success, I'll do another walk. Wow. 
It's been that long. Oh man, that works. There we go. So, <laughs> wow. Actually, we don't want the target uh, actor to be anything. AI move to. So this would, this would be this one, right? But how do we get it to move to a random location? Is the uh, is the problem here? So we're gonna call a reference to the main parent. I'm not sure how I do that. Do I have to cast twice? Hmm. <laughs> I'm not sure how I do this yet. I might be doing this wrong, but this way, well, I mean, this way works. I just don't know if there's a different way. Oops, bush. There we go. Bush class. I'm gonna get a class. Wait, no, no, no. What is it? Character reference? Character. Object reference. And we're going to set this equal to how do I set it to a... oh there we go push class editing this value in a class default is not allowed why not what? Editing this value in class default object is not allowed. I have no clue what that means. Okay, fine. Oh, 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 actually. Event begin play. Call this. Set the bush class. Cast to bush. As Bush. What? How would you do this? Does that work? Wow, I'm really bad at casting. How do I talk to this freaking... Do I even need to make a- oh yeah I do, because I need AI Perception. Unless I can throw AI Perception in here. I can. Oh my god, I don't think I needed this. I don't think I did. I don't know why I compiled and saved that, I could have just deleted it. I don't, I'm pretty sure I don't need this. I think I just do everything through here. Yeah, I think I can. Okay. This will make it easier for me for uh, casting. So this is a pawn. We're going to do self as the target actor. Whoa, whoa, slow down. As the target actor, we'll get that. As the destination, we'll get that. Now, the last thing that I need to do is random walking. So we got it to walk towards the player. Just to see if this code works, I'm going to delete or just unconnect this for now and see if this actually uh, works. So if it does work, then it should walk towards the player, do the same exact thing that it did earlier. Great. Perfect. This is exactly what we don't want. Wait, does it not work now? Whoa, 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 whoa. Hey, there we go. Look at me. Look at me. Hey. Oh, actually. Okay, so that was it randomly walking around. Sorry, I just didn't have any AI controller there. 
That was it walking around randomly. This is it walking around, and if it sees me, then walk towards me. Come on, look at me. Come on, bush. Come on, bush. No way it didn't look at me yet. Are you serious? Okay, let's try this. Print string. True or false? Tell me. True or false? Let's go. I want to hear it. I want to hear it. What? Okay, I'm so confused right now. So, it's not even running through this at all. It's not even doing the, uh... It's not even doing this. Maybe if it just said hello? Maybe I was wrong? Yeah, it's not running through it. I just want to make sure I'm not going crazy. Hello, 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 hello. Okay. This is working. This isn't working for some reason. On target perception, if it sees the character. Dominant sense? What does that mean? I don't want to mess with that. Alright, well, I guess I'm going back to uh, messing around with this stuff. Unless it's in here. Oh, nope. Let's see. Oh, no, 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 no. God, I just ran over my uh, my wire for my rip. Now it won't go back. Hold up. Let's just do this. Come on. Okay, there we go. So let's see. What am I doing wrong? Hey, I guess we're relearning everything. It's kind of sad. Do I have to build the perception first? Is that what I'm doing wrong? Maybe that's what I'm doing wrong. How do I do the site and everything? I'll figure this out. Hold up. No way. Was I? No, 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 no. Was I using the wrong thing this whole time? Oh my god, are you serious? On C pawn, see? There we go. So that was pawn sensing. Yeah, you know, that, that name makes more sense. Um, yeah. On C pawn, so we don't need the branch anymore. Because it's this only runs if it sees something. On C pawn, move to it. That's it. Right? Now, do I still have to define the site and everything? Oh, <gasps> yes, 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 yes. This works, this works. Let's go. I don't want to jinx it, but this is what site looks like. And let's see. So the hearing, I believe, is the uh, that one. So hearing is the circle here, if it hears something. Uh, all we care about right now is the site. And 5,000 is pretty far. I believe the sight one is the farthest out of all. Uh, that one's at 3. I'm going to up the speed real quick because it's kind of slow. It's still kind of slow. There you go. So let's get a look at this. So obviously we don't want it to see like that. Maybe it's the yellow one. 
Oh, it is. Okay, I was about to say, that's kind of big. What is the green one, then? What's this? What? Oh, so it was the sight. See, I thought it was going crazy. Um, peripheral vision angle. So, obviously, I don't want this character to be able to see in all directions here. Hello? I swear, there was a way to change this. To make it cone-shaped instead. Maybe I have to do this. File save. So, hearing that showed sight radius. Let's see, maybe I have to set a number. What? It doesn't do it at the same... Oh, now... Oh, okay. Now you're gonna change. Is it because I went too high? Oh, I already went over the max. I'm a fool. So there we go. This is exactly what I want. So if it does see something... Let's see. What seems to be good here? I like that. 20. And now how far do we want it to see? Thousand is quite far. Let's stick with it though. So now let's see if it does it. Come on, walk towards me. Yeah, buddy. Oh. I need to know if that was walking randomly towards me or if that was actually walking towards me. So, on success. So if it does go to me successfully, I want it to say... Yeah, buddy. Here we go. So, let's take a look. Come on. I want to hear it. Oh, that looks like walking towards me. Yeah, buddy. But where are you? Okay. It does this weird, like... Oh, except a little radius. Is that why? Oh, that's because I'm getting a navigable radius of that. So I actually want to stick this at zero. I want to stick this at zero. Zero. So it will move exactly onto the player. There we go. That's better. Yeah. Right in front. There we go. So that's it. That's that's done. We got that. And just, as, just so we can see what it, what the enemy would look like, if it's turned around, we'll turn this bad boy over. Now let's wa watch it walk around randomly. And if it sees the... Sees us, come on. There we go. Yeah! That will be our enemy. And as you can see, it's a little bit flip-floppy. Moves around all really fast. Eventually, I'm going to make it... Uh, what sounds cool to me right now is make it stop, look around... 180 and then change directions look around 180 change directions can we do that ai move to on success rotate Plus 90, right? Plus, we're going to want to add this value by 90, I believe. Plug that into here. So that's turning left, I believe. Let's just take a look. Move to this bush. We're going to take its current location and add that by 90. That's turning right. Okay, never mind. That's turning right.
So let's smooth this around, go like that, go like this. So that's one, I, I don't know if there's an easier way to do. Okay, 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 sorry. I'm just thinking of a cleaner way to do this, turn. We're gonna create an event called turning and just so this looks cleaner, we're gonna move this here. We're gonna add turning and give it an input of a number and we're gonna call this turn radius, turn amounts maybe. I think turn, turn radius was the right word, but who knows. Oh my God, I'm going speedy right now because I feel really close. Okay, so we're gonna add that turning. Boom. That's it. Ah, oh, yes, yes, yes. Okay, and we're gonna add, we're gonna call turn, and we're gonna do turn about ninety. Oh yes, yes, yes. This looks so much cleaner. Oh my god, yes. Please tell me this works. Turn negative one eighty. So it's gonna turn to the left, and then it's gonna call itself again and keep doing it. Delay one second. One second. Yeah, that's good. I just tried turning in real life to see. Oh, please work. Please. No, don't look at me. God damn it. Ah. <sighs> Is it working? It's just doing it really fast? No, because that, that was in a one second delay. How do I make it turn really slow? Because right now it's just instantly turning. Okay, we're going to say print string and turn one. I wonder if I should just be printing this in event tick so I can see. Uh, we're gonna say print string. There we go. Let's do that. Come on. Let's see. This has no meaning to me. Why is it? Shouldn't it be X, Y, Z? Rotates in the form of P, Y, R? I don't know what that means. No, it doesn't look like it's turning to me. I can't tell because it's a freaking bush. I need to change it. Can't tell if it's turning. Something that's like clearly, oh, perfect. There we go. Oh, it's definitely turning. No, no, no. It's definitely turning. No way. What was that? I can't tell if it's turning or not. I really can't. And this doesn't help me at all. It's so useless. It does say it's running the... It says it's delaying, but I don't see a delay. 
Oh, that's why. Because I, I called the delay, right? For the turn. It's gonna delay. But I, then this one doesn't have a delay, so it's just gonna move over to the next turn. Right? Is that how it works? Is that how it works? Please tell me that's how it works. So I have to add it here. Please work. I think I might have to just end this video after this. This is already 40 minutes long. For something... I need to see from the bush's perspective. So we're going to actually go to the bush class here. Main enemy. And we're going to set auto-possess to yes. And we're going to take my current class right now called test run player. We're going to turn off the auto-possess here, disabled, boom, run, play. That didn't work at all, did it? I just want to see from your freaking perspective. Can I not do that? Okay, let's try this. So helpful. Why is it not doing anything? Damn. Damn, damn. Well, I guess that doesn't work. Mm -hmm. That really sucks. I can't. What if I make the delay super long? Let's do five seconds. Then I'll know for sure if it's working or not. Maybe one second is too short. Is that why? Well, the, we already deleted the camera. Go here. Set auto possess. There's zero. Oh my god, it is working. How do I make it turn slowly, though? See, look, it's definitely... Oh my god, it is working. Okay, wait, I need to go in person and see how long it would actually be, like, if I walk somewhere and, like, scan around. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Two seconds seems good. Let's, let's take a look at two. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. I'm gonna, I log my hours and I forgot to put the start time. So we've been recording for 43 minutes and 30 something seconds. Minutes. It's September 30th today. It's if it's been 43 minutes, 2.07. Wait, actually 2.06. There we go. That's all I need to do. Okay, so if we take a look at this. Now, let's see how two seconds looks. That looks so much better. But I wanted to go, oh, to go smoothly, to go smoothly. Oh, I know how to do this. I know how to do this. Okay, so we're going to take a uh, timeline here. After this, I think I'm going to call it done for this episode. Because it's already really long. Um, turn rate. So we're going to take, we're going to call it turn rate. And we're going to say play from start. Sorry, I'm talking really fast right now. Because I'm really excited about this. It's turning out really nice. So, uh, update this one. So what that's going to do, instead of instantly turning, it's going to slowly turn up to that value that it's given. So... Uh, 
Oh, but the problem is we can't give it a freaking float turn rate. Can I give it an input? I want it to... I want it to turn based off of these values, though. Or run this code over a certain period of time. rotates slowly smoothly Gl gradually rotate an object this is uh, not Unreal Engine 4 how do I say it now just rotate make camera follow void snapping there we go there we go there we go come on let's see it Why am I watching a GIF? Come on. Okay, let's see. This is not what I wanted. Rotate Rotating an object towards the mouse cursor. New rotation, yeah. Wait, you can do that? Wait, wait, you can do that? That's sweet. Oh my god, that saves so much time. There we go. Oh no, you can't. Never mind. I still have to do this because I have to set the other values. Ah, uh, how do you do smooth looking at? How did I do it in here? Focus on target. Set focus. Is that it? No, I don't think that is. I want it to just look. I just want it to look at the player. Attacking, receive damage, charge. AI boss controller? Maybe it is set focus. Let's try it. I guess it couldn't hurt to try, right? Let's try it. Let's try it. Set focus. Set focus. That didn't help. Yeah, the only way I know how to do this is a timeline, but I don't know how to. I don't know how I would approach this, to be honest. We'll just we'll just give it a shot. Okay, so I'm not sure first off, this is an enum. And I don't know how to change that. I'm pretty sure there is a way to change Oh there we go. Direction? It's not even in here. How do I take it off? Oh my god. You know what? I'm going crazy. 
This this way would be much cleaner. Sorry, I'm not talking a lot. I'm just trying to really trying to focus here. Instead of having to do this, I could tell the turning to all just be within here itself. I can just tell it to turn the time. I can tell the graph to turn left, then turn right in here, all in itself. So vector. But there's no rotation thing, are you serious? So we want to play from the starts. Play from the starts. Turn, we're gonna make a rotator. Plug this into the Z. Get actor rotation. Break rotator. Not what I wanted. I think I just do that. Okay, there we go. Target is self. New rotator. Tell it to rotate. Oh my god, this is going. This is insane. I've never done it this way before. I always do the get actor rotation, break rotator, make rotator, but this way is much cleaner. Okay, so let's look at turn rate. We're going to want to set this value. Uh, first off, this is going to be, it's going to turn, it's going to turn over a period of two seconds. Stop, look for one second maybe, turn over a period of two seconds. So this will be five seconds total. So this is actually perfect. So we're gonna do that. Going to add a key at zero, zero. So it's gonna start at zero. Now over a period of two seconds, I told it to scroll out. So over a period of two seconds, we're gonna add a key time over a period of two seconds. I want it to have completely turned 90 degrees. Now we're gonna look at this. There we go. Oh, I think that's because I need to add a key at the end. Oops. So at the end of this all, it should be at 5 seconds and back to 0. Oh, so actually this should be 7 seconds total, if I'm doing my math right. 7 seconds? Okay. There we go. This should all work. So now after it turns over a period of 2 seconds to look completely right, I want it over a period of one second to, oh, I need it to stop for two seconds, or for one second, still be at 90. And then over a period of another two seconds, I'm going to add a key here, over a period of another two seconds, we want it to turn completely to 180, and then it, we want it to go back over another period of two seconds. So what this will look like is it will, the character will turn to the right, over a period of two seconds, look for one second, go all the way to the left. Oh, we want it to wait one second. So this should actually be eight seconds. We want it to stay there, look around for one second. Time, six, look around for one second, still be at 180. So look to the left for one second and then look forward again. And then it will start moving again. So we're gonna wanna take these points here Uh, should we just do the whole th entire thing? Just make one giant curve. Yeah, there we go. So we're gonna make in. Uh, what I just did right here is I did an interpolation. Interpolation, yeah, and set it to auto. So it's gonna smoothen out all of our straight lines, all of our stiff looking graph, and smoothen it out to give us a nice realistic feel to the character. So hopefully, that is way too freaking fast. That is definitely not working. Delay eight seconds, because that's how long this, this thing is gonna run for. I wanna see it turn. Okay, 
That's good. Something was off, though. Did I do my marathon? Should it not be turning negative? Oh, it should be just negative 90. Yeah. Yeah. Negative 90. There we go. Let's see it turn. <laughs> it moves so fast. It's moving so fast. This thing is a little too slow for me, so I'm going to change it to over a period of one second it should turn. We're just going to shorten everything. Three. Four. Over a period of five seconds. And obviously this thing needs to be smoothed out again. Can I just do control A? No, I can't. That sucks. That should fix our nasty curves. I don't, I don't know if it changed anything. I'm pretty... Okay. Length of five. And let's see how this runs. Now, one thing that I want to change is you can see the character is moving really, really fast. So I can fix that by changing the move speed. Move. Oh, that's a lot of moving. Max walk speed. Is it walk? Max walk speed. There we go. Uh, max walk speed. We're going to change that to 300. There we go. Let's try that. So it slowed down by half. Oh! Oh, please, please! Uh, let's up the radius that it walks around. To 1,000. Because it's I find it's turning really fast. So it's still, it's it's nice. The rotating is really smooth as you can see, but once it gets up again, okay, okay, okay. I see the issue. So you can see that the character is moving around and it looks around, but once it's done looking, it will suddenly jerk behind it and start walking again. Um, as you can, I, I'll try to demonstrate here. Oh, and I just realized the rotating is always this direction. It's not adding, it's not adding by 90. So it should be taking the current thing and adding current uh, rotation, and adding that by this value instead. Because it's always, tur it's turning the, it's always setting the rotation to 90 and negative 90, rather than taking its current rotation and telling it to look left and right 90 degrees. It was actually telling it to rotate 90 negative night if that makes any sense at all so you're gonna see this is gonna look a lot smoother because it won't turn around Jesus chill out Wow what just happened so it takes its current value adds it by yeah I'm not sure what's happening I don't know I don't know what that just happened what just happened? This should be working just fine. Now it's just frozen? Did I do something wrong? For now, I'm just gonna keep it like this. I don't, I don't want to mess with it. You can see it's always going to look this way, this direction while it's rotating. Watch, it's going to jerk and see it's always looking that way. Even if it's turning at me, I want it to get it to turn at me once. Come on, turn at me. See, it's always facing... See, it was walking this way, but it's always going to rotate that behind it instantly. Um, I'm not sure why they're adding the... 
adding this by this didn't work. I'm not sure why. I guess I'll figure it out later. Why did I just see increment float? What does this do? Oh, adds it by one. Okay. I was about to say, if that slowly adds the float by a little bit at a time, I would have been sort of upset. Uh, well, I guess we'll end the episode off here. Uh, we did get pretty far with the character. I'll tinker around with it more. Um, but thank you. Hour long episode. Uh, yeah, but I would say we made good progress. And see you in the next episode.